Hi there, it's Jeff here with a video looking at the cost of credit. Well, there are many types of consumer credit in the UK, and in the previous video we looked at factors affecting credit supply. The supply of loans in terms of credit cards, personal loans, payday loans, and of course, housing mortgages. So whilst the credit supply is about availability, we also have to think about the cost of credit to the people taking out the loans. Take a look at this chart, which is kind of six years worth of data looking at the average consumer credit interest rate. Personal loans can be quite expensive. The average personal loan for £24,000, probably 7%, even higher if you just want to take out a personal loan of £3,000. £3, credit card debt is expensive. On average, as we finish 2024, a credit card debt uh, if you don't make the minimum repayments and things, will cost you 25% annual percentage rate. And in fact, an overdraft can be extremely expensive. An overdraft is where you go overdrawn on your current account and the bank starts charging you interest as well as sometimes fees. So overdraft rates on average over 35%. So interest rates on credit cards, on loans and overdrafts are really, really quite high in the UK. The cost of credit is high. Look at this chart. This chart shows the base rate of interest in the UK. It's just dropped a little bit recently to 4.5%. And that's in blue. Contrast with credit card interest rates. And that gap seems to be getting wider. It's always been there. But you can see here that the average credit card interest rate as a percentage is just under or just around 25%. Five times the base rate of interest. Now, in an exam, if you get a question on interest rates, there's a great evaluation point. Official interest rates might be relatively low, let's say 4%, but you might be paying 20, 25% on your credit cards. And even as even as base rates fluctuate, consumer credit interest rates tend to be sticky. Uh, they don't tend to fall very quickly. They're quite clean, quite good to go up, but they're slow to decrease, especially for unsecured lending. So what, what explains if this is a video on the cost of credit, so what helps to explain the gap between the base interest rate and the interest rate you pay in the market? Well, first of all, risk premium and default risk. So fundamentally, a lot of consumer credit is unsecured. You're not putting your house up against uh, uh, the repayment. So things like credit cards, overdrafts, personal loans are unsecured, meaning that the lender, the bank, for example, they have no collateral to recover that money if the borrower defaults. So therefore, because of that, because of the risk premium, they're going to charge you a higher rate of interest. And the default rates typically tend to be higher. So certainly compared to mortgages, unsecured credit, and that includes things like car loans, they have a higher risk of non-repayment. So the lenders respond to that by charging a risk premium. And obviously the lenders try to get as much information as they can. They look at people's credit scores, their employment status, uh, their previous borrowing history. And those with a poor credit history typically, of course, face much higher annual percentage rates. So fundamentally, it's about it's about risk and uh, paying a higher price for that. But also behaviour. So I think one of the key reasons why interest rates remain so high for consumer credit is that many borrowers stick with existing credit cards despite high interest rates. Uh, and that means there's less competition within the market. So if we think about the interest rate on the loan as the price, which it is, then many borrowers basically don't cut back or don't think really about the interest rate they're paying. Uh, or they don't respond to changes in interest rates. They have a low price elasticity demand. If you like. They have a low interest elasticity of demand for unsecured loans. So there's three really important reasons why uh, the base rate of interest is a, is a fraction, a small fraction of the interest rate on consumer credit.